All right, guys, we are back in the garage after what was, I would say, a successful weekend of testing, right? <clears throat> we went to the track, we made a few passes, and we made quite a bit of passes. We kept going straight, everything worked out, and at the end of the night, we ended up just dislocating charge pipes. Not the end of the world, not a big deal. A bunch of people uh, I know online were freaking out. Oh, make sure they're, you know, they're beveled and crimped and whatever. We've got it. I, I don't know if you guys can see it on there. It's beveled. You know what I mean? It's got a bead rolled edge. It's got it there. Now, it's distinctly possible that when I put all this stuff back together, maybe it didn't go back together 100% the best way. Um, not something that I ever checked throughout the night. I was really, really concerned about the rear and I kept checking the rear, but we're gonna fix it up. We got some hairspray, thanks to the internet, thanks to you guys. We're going to, I'm gonna take apart all of these silicone couplers and everything. We're gonna spray the silicone couplers and then put it back together, ensuring 110% that the bead rolled edges are where they're supposed to be and all that is good. I'm also going to throw the car up on jack stands all the way around. It was weird because some of the angles of some of the video, it looked like the front driver's side tire was towed in quite a bit, but just sitting here, and when it was on the trailer and everything, I looked at it, it, it doesn't look anywhere near that. So I'm wondering if maybe it was just a video angle thing or whatever, but I'm gonna throw a tape measure on it, check it again, maybe make a little adjustment if we need to. I also want to go through and check all of the stuff in the rear with the new ladder bars. That night when we were at the track, I did find that one of the lock nuts did end up a little loose. I oh, tightened it up. Here. Oh, hey, babe. <laughs> what you doing? Barking. Um, <clears throat> so we got that sorted. And then the big thing, everybody, oh, the trunk, the trunk. The trunk has pins, right? And it's got these stupid push pins that we've adjusted, we've raised the height, we've lowered it, we've we've made all sorts of adjustments in an attempt to get the trunk to stay closed, but no matter what we do, hold on, let me see if I can show you guys, right? When it's closed, you can just, oh, well now it's not going to because we've got a strap underneath there holding it, but you could just bang it and it'll pop right up. So I'm going to make an attempt once again to adjust these things and hopefully get them to stay. If not, we may end up just going with like a regular old school uh, through through bolt with the hood pin, you know what I mean? The regular old school hood pin, that, that might be what has to happen. If that's what we gotta do to keep the thing down, or, you know, we've got it right now, we've got a strap on the inside and everything just to keep it down. So, a little bit of work today, but the game plan is to get this work knocked out, so hopefully we can take it out on the street and I can see how it reacts on the street. Because the prep track surface is all fine and dandy and well and good, um, but what we really need to know is how is it gonna work on the street. So, let's get to work. Uh, I'm probably not even going to film any of that. I'm just going to go ahead and knock it out and get it done so we can get it done today because I really want to get all that sorted and then on the trailer, go test on the street. Also, just as a good shakedown because we're supposed to go to Tennessee this weekend. I'm not sure how that's going to work out because rain chances are looking pretty high and not super good, but we'll, we'll play that by ear, see how it comes. So let's get to work. I'll get this knocked out and then hopefully we can go have some fun with it tonight. Well, we've got everything reassembled. I checked the rear end, tons and tons of hairspray on it, and everything should be good to go. But I do wanna go take it out and make sure that it's building boost and the charge pipes are staying where they're supposed to stay. So we're gonna take it out on the street, maybe go make a hit, a couple hits, whatever we can do, however much we can squeeze in, and see how the car reacts. I've not really taken it on the street under power on a good street before. Actually, that's a lie, I did. The last time I did that, it wheelied and it went crazy. So we're gonna try to avoid wheeling this time and see what we can do to get it down the street and see how it works. So let's head out there and try to go make some hits and hopefully charge pipes stay together and everything works out as it's supposed to. out 
at the spot and uh, apparently they don't want us there no more. The guy came out, was very upset, said pack it up, get up out of here, blah blah blah, that whole thing. Don't be on the property. I said, no problem, look, I'm a, I'm an easy guy to get along with, like, you know what's wrong? Oh, well, they've been all over here asking questions and blah blah blah, so... Ugh. Unfortunately, that means we're not going to get the good road tune-up. Um, now, I could just go park out on the side of the street and go hit the good road and everything else, but out of respect for the dude, you know what I mean, you got a business there or whatever, um, I'm not going to do that to him. So, our only other option is to drive clear across the other direction and, you know, a bunch of time all the way down south, whatever. Or, there is a bear road that's been used over here once or twice and I think we're going to go hit it. I was looking for the good road tune-up and everything, but I guess sometimes life... Uh, forces you to make a decision and today's life decision is we're gonna learn or at least attempt to learn a bare road tune-up and we're gonna try and go down it so I think I have an idea of what I should do we don't we haven't had enough time on the car and everything to really know but we'll go out try it and I'll give it my best stab my best attempt at it we'll see what it does go from there wasn't it uh, I erred on the side of let me try to keep some power in it and keep some boost in it so that way when it does make boost it has it you know or you know further out um, first time trying to send it down a bare road so it is what it is it didn't work and that's why you come out and test that's why we come out and do this stuff unfortunately the top end of this road um, is wet so it looks like they threw the sprinkler system on or something for the cornfields and good thing it didn't hook everything in life happens for a reason because the top end would have been wet not that I was probably gonna run it all the way out the eighth anyway you know I, I spun I let out it was going sideways whatever and then I just kind of rolled back into it just to make sure that it was going to make boost and everything because at least if we didn't get a good pass out of the deal at least we got you know 
I had to put my foot into it. It made boost. All the charge pipes stayed connected, so we're a step ahead. And now that we're down two spots, uh, we're gonna go check out a third spot, which is a good street. So I'll probably mess with the tune up a little bit again, um, because we should be able to get down that street. That one shouldn't be too hard to get down. It's a pretty good one, but we're gonna try that and, and see what happens there. So it's you'll have nights like this. Sometimes you got to go spot to spot, place to pay, place to place. Uh, but this is this is what'll happen in races too, where you know you might start a shootout somewhere and end up moving around five or six times. So it's kind of kind of what it would be like on a shootout night except we're not racing anybody and honestly it'd be better for us if we could just stay in one spot and make multiple passes and start to get the car figured out but hey the only way we're going to learn is by doing it and we're doing it now so let's keep on rolling and this guy's going to keep riding my ass and we're going to get up out of here Once you, once you shifted it started to go a little bit. Huh? You want me to hit the switch? Yeah, once I shifted it, uh, cause it went. Well, we made one. And it was, it was really pretty good. Um, I picked the tune up that I thought would work. Obviously it did, it, it worked pretty well. Uh, when I got out a little bit, um, after I made the one two shift, you know it, it always one two shifts really hard. And it started to wiggle a little bit, and I was like, uh, you know, eh. I, I ended up letting out of it until it straightened up and then got back in it. Um, which really I probably could have driven through. It's just a it's just a seat time thing. I mean honestly, that was the first full pass on small tire on the street with that car. So uh, a lot of stuff comes down to just seat time and learning it and getting more comfortable. I am not, you know, I'm overly cautious. If if it were the Nova and it wiggled like that, I wouldn't lift it because I know what the Nova does. You know, I've, I've raced it so many, so many times, but this car, I don't have that many passes on it yet. So we're gonna keep building those passes and uh, to be honest with you, even letting out and getting back in it, it, it still went pretty quick, I think. Um, I think had I not let out and stayed in it, we would have gone probably pretty close to what we did at the prep track the other day, which is wild, uh, but tells me a number of things. Number one, boost is really working. Couplers are staying connected. Um, we're definitely making making the boost, so that's good news. And 
Um, I just I just need to get more comfortable in it. You know, when you're when you're out on the street and it's the middle of the night and you know you know you might only get one pass. Um, I didn't do a great burnout. I think the burnout itself was good, but dragging it out, I should have done a better job dragging it out. All those things are going to come with time. You know, all that stuff I didn't uh, I didn't learn with the Nova overnight. You know, I didn't. I didn't just jump in the Nova and all that stuff started going perfect from the start. Um, it took time. The difference is the Nova also started slower. So this thing has the potential, this thing's already gone faster than the Nova's ever gone. And it has the potential to go faster than the Nova's ever gone on the street too. So it's, you know, it's a little bit more, but we'll keep working at it. Uh, I, I feel pretty good. Uh, I feel like a great weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You know, tonight didn't work out the way I wanted to. I rather would have stayed at the first spot and made two, three, four, five passes where I felt like we could have. Um, but we got kicked out of there. We tried the bare road spot, and that's the first time I've ever tried a bare road in that car. So we missed the tune up. Not a big deal. The, the reason we do that is so that way when we go to a race, and we go somewhere we were on the street and they pull us up and they're like oh we're hitting the bare road today well you know hopefully by then i will have tested on several bare roads gotten it figured out and everything that was just the first one so i can't be mad at that it didn't work out and then we ended up finding out you know as i got way down the road that it was wet and just wasn't going to be a safe thing to do to go ahead and be trying to push it there so we loaded up got out of there we went to this other spot and um we probably could have made another one um you know the thing is is there there was some you know history at this spot and we're we're trying to take it easy you know uh, i don't want to be i'd much rather put it on the trailer knowing hey i made a couple passes good and now we can build for the next time you know now i think for a that road isn't the best road uh, we have it's not the fastest road but it's pretty good so I've got at minimum uh, a round one off the trailer tune-up for that kind of road like I've got it now it's saved it's good and I know the next time we come out I can either plop that right in and if I can drive it and don't have any issues you know what I mean and, and don't let out I know about what it should go um, if we're just testing, I could probably, it could probably take being turned up off the hit a little bit too. Uh, I, I don't think that would have been too much of an issue. I think we could bring some of that launch retard out of it, but you know, I've got no complaints. We're, we're making progress with the car. The car's still in one piece. It's still, it's a much different feeling in that car than it is the Nova. I can tell you guys that it's like, just the feel of everything is way different. So. I've got no complaints. We had a good night. We're gonna bring this thing back home, put it in the garage, probably check over a few things again, just to be sure, you know. Um, I wanna stay on top of top of the maintenance of the car and just looking things over and making sure nothing's worked its way loose or nothing is out of place or any of that kind of stuff. We should be good to go. Uh, I don't know what that's gonna mean for this weekend. I know that I could travel I got invited to a street race that is, uh, you know, it's a few hours. It's not, it's not the closest to home, but it's not the farthest away either. And, um, but I think that's going to be a pretty bare road. So we would have to, we'd have to get a better bare road tune up. You know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I think if we can keep testing throughout the week, we'll do that. And if it works out, fantastic. You know. We just got to keep making forward progress and i'm sure after more and more and more and more passes in the car uh, i'll feel more confident in it uh, we'll get it squared away even further things will go well and how they're supposed to and we'll keep moving in that direction so as always thank you guys for tuning in i appreciate it make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon a lot of folks have been telling me lately they're not getting notifications they're not getting notifications I, I don't know how it works look YouTube does its own thing Facebook does its own thing they all do their own thing but I can tell you the greatest chance you've got is clicking that bell and hitting all notifications that's the best I can tell you other than that if you've done that and you're still not getting notifications that's just YouTube being YouTube Facebook being Facebook whatever but I appreciate you guys and uh, hopefully we'll get we'll get some more testing in this week hopefully the weather for us is gonna be good and we'll keep making progress so I'll catch you guys next time